I'm Francine, bringing you more reviews, recaps, and rants on all your favorite K-dramas. This is Drama Buds, an anime podcast. So hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of Drama Buds. Let's get right into it. I feel like this is going to be a long one, so I might as well just go straight into my first impressions on moving the latest would I say it's a big blockbuster drama? Does that concept work for dramas? It's arguably the biggest release this year. Budget-wise, cast-wise, scale-wise, it's huge. And Disney has invested a lot of money into it. And I think it was a worthy investment. We'll get to all that later. Basic details. Moving as the same PD as Kingdom 2... The writer, Kang Fool, is the same as the webtoon writer. So he's the one who added new characters and more depth to the stories of others. This cast is huge. For the parents, we have Jo In Sung, Han Yo Ju, Ryu Sung Ryong, many more. And for the kids, we have Kim Jong Ha, Go Yun Jong, and Kim Do Hoon. The supporting cast is, to me, just a star studded. I feel like every cast member here, I'm like, eh. Hey, I've seen you before in this and that. Everyone, okay? Even if they only appear for like an episode or a scene, huge cast, very recognizable. So what is it about? Uh, it's about these parents who have superpowers worked for the government as secret agents. But for reasons we don't know yet, although we can guess, as of episode 11, they left the NIS, the intelligence service, and are now hiding their children who inherited their powers. These kids end up in the same school where the development of the powers that they're trying so hard to hide are actually being monitored by the teachers who work for the NIS. And we also have this assassin with like regeneration powers who was sent by the U.S. government who is now hunting down former agents with superpowers and he's trying to find the children, their children, knowing that their kids inherited their powers as well. So the first seven episodes were released at once. And that first part focused on the teenagers with their parents in the background uh, growing closer as friends while discovering each other's powers. And then the next episodes are being released two at a time, focusing on the backstories of the parents, how they met, and probably how they ran away from the NIS, how we ended up in the present day. But I've only watched episode 11 as of now, so that's all I know about the story so far. I will spoil a bit. This is definitely not spoiler-free because I want to recap some of the things that happened. But this is mostly first impressions and why everyone needs to give this a chance. At the very least, you have to try it. So in episodes 1 to 7, we start out with the kids, right? How they discovered their powers and managed to hide it for so long. We have Bong Sok, played by Kim Jong Ha, who inherited his father's ability to fly and his mom's super senses. But unlike his father, Du Shik, played by Jo In Sung, he can't control his flying. He just floats all the time, especially when he experiences strong emotions. His mom, Mi Hyun, played by Han Yo Ju, she ties weights on him. She puts them in his bag. She makes him gain weight to hide that so that it's, you know, it's harder for him to just float and to protect him from the NIS, not knowing that the teachers are already monitoring them for the government. She's really protective and strict with him, you know, about answering his phone, about being within reach. So she could always, you know, tell him to run or tell him to not come home yet. And protect him. And that makes Bong Sok feel a bit smothered. And then because of the weights, the literal weights on him that are tying him down, he is unable to access or use his power and try to control it when he really needs to or, or feels like he wants to. Next, we have Hisu, played by Go Yun Jong, a new student in that school who got expelled from her previous school because she fought like 17 bullies in one battle. And they all came out of it, you know, badly beaten and she was perfectly fine. Because that's where she discovered that she had the power of regeneration. And this new school was the only school that would accept her. Obviously...